Hi, Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to find the removable discontinuity of the following rational function of x squared plus x minus 6 all over x minus 2. So the first thing you got to do is you're going to have to make sure that everything is in fully factored form, okay, in order to find these removable discontinuities. By the way, what do we mean by discontinuities? We basically mean that are there any x values here that cause this function to do something wacky? And there is, right? I mean, x down here cannot be 2 because if it's 2, 2 times 2 is going to be 0. And that's a problem, right? You can't have zero in the denominator because zero divided into anything doesn't make any sense. How many times does nothing fit into something? I don't know. It's nothing, right? You might say an infinite number of times. Well, that's fine. That's an idea. It's not a number, right? So there is really is no value, okay? It's discontinuous there. Discontinuous. That's totally made up word. Discontinuity. There's a discontinuity there. Oh, boy. I need more coffee. So um, anyway... What we want to do is try to f eliminate this. We've got to try to remove it somehow, and I don't mean just by removing it by taking a scissor and, you know, somehow excising it like a cancer. What I mean is we have to somehow factor the numerator in such a way that I can get the terms to cancel, maybe. All right? So that's why we're going to fully factor it. So factor that numerator. You've got to find two numbers that multiply to negative 6, but yet add to a positive 1, right? So we're going to say, oh, right, that's so simple. It's going to be x plus 3 and then x minus 2 right? Because the 3 and the 2, they add to a positive 1, but yet multiply to negative 6. And then in the denominator, it's x minus 2. So keep in mind also, if they're asking these questions, probably, most likely, this factor down here is going to be somehow a factor in the numerator, okay? So what we are able to do now is we're able to remove that discontinuity. We were able to divide it out of the equation. So what that means is that this, discontinu this discontinuity, I was able to remove. In other words, when x is equal to now 2, I was able to remove that discontinuity, okay? I was able to remove that. So now what's the resulting function here is going to be x plus 3. So this function overall is going to look identical to this, except at one spot. It's going to look like this, except at one spot, okay? Now watch, I'm going to graph. So we're going to graph, you're going to type in x squared plus x, plus x, where's the x, hello, there it is, minus 6, then divide it by x minus 2. All right, close it, now hit graph. So you're going to see I'm going to zoom out, so it's the, or zoom standard, all right? So I'm going to zoom out here, and uh, it looks pretty continuous to me, I mean, right? If you're looking at that, uh, it looks pretty darn continuous. But the problem is that there really is a discontinuity somewhere here. Watch, hit second graph to bring up your table, and look at number 2. At When x is 2, that's what we were saying before, Look, x is 2. There's an error. An error. Right? Wouldn't it be funny if everybody just pronounced that word as error? Error. So anyway, there's an error at when uh, x is going to be equal to 2. Okay? So it is discontinuous at that point. Okay? Even though you're not going to see it when you hit the graph. You don't see that. All right? So what you want to do, if you want to identify that exact point now, what you can do is you can take 2, plug it into this for x, all right, 2 plus 3, and that's going to be equal to 5. So basically the point discontinuity now exists at 2 comma 5, all right? So if you look at your picture now here, if I were to go where x is going to be equal to, oops, where x is going to be equal to now 2, and then if you go up 5 units... You're going to hit that point right there on the graph. And this point should be a hole. There should be a hole there. Okay? Calculator doesn't do it for you. So you got to be careful when you visually look at it. But there should be a hole there. All right? If we were to zoom in close enough, maybe we'd see it, but probably not. Um, in any case, that's the, uh, I, that's the removable discontinuity. All right? So thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Check out our channel because we got thousands of videos out there, not only math, but chemistry, physics as well. We also started a membership for you guys. Um, also help you through your class as well. You can ask some comments. we get priority comments back. You might even be able to ask uh, some specific questions. We'll make a video for you. All right. We'll give you a shout out. Thanks so very much, guys. Take care.